hope can be a beautiful thing. It can also be a disastrous thing. I guess that's just the balance of life, though. But before I get into this video, I'm trying to hit 1,800 subs before the end of the week. Need about 14 more people to do so. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Now, Sean Ross Sapp, the homie SRS, he's a Cincinnati native such, such as myself. I think he's a Cincinnati native. I think he's around. I know he's a Bengals fan. I'll give him that. He's reported from, through Fightful that um, WWE are not, like, they're not totally out. It's not impossible for CM Punk to return to WWE. They are still denying that there's any no negotiations. They're still denying that there has ever, he's signed and, but it's not, it's not off the table. They're saying that, uh, I'll just read the article. The internal line on CM Punk in WWE is quote on is quote, not as of right now, which is a positive sign. Um, but we've learned more on WWE we learn more on that approach by WWE. On October 10th, Fightful reported that WWE higher-ups not only denied that CM Punk had been signed by WWE, but there were but that there were any negotiations. This matched up with our a report a couple of weeks prior that indicated that there have been some feelers gauging there have been some feelers gauging interest in Punk on WWE side. Wow, so I didn't. I did, okay. I'm reading this like I'm just doing this live. Like, don't think of this as like a commentary on breaking news or whatever. I'm not professional, bro. I'm like standing up in my underwear right now. Like, bro. uh, so apparently WWE was do they got interest in Punk. Wow. Okay, so they have some interest in Punk, and they gave him some feelers. Wow. So despite Punk now being the top free agent in W in wrestling. And natural rumor swirling regarding his potential return to WWE. Nobody after WWE Fastlane was asked about it at the post show press conference. In the event that they were asked, both Triple H and a number of superstars were prepared to an answer, and some stars were prepped on it. Fightful Select was told that many in WWE were surprised that they weren't asked about CM Punk. I was surprised as well. Why didn't anybody ask? But that the line internally on him would have been very similar to what WWE higher ups told us in, on October 10th, that there were that there's no remaining ill will between the two sides, and the possibility is always there. Ah, music to my ears, music to my ears. But that Punk wasn't signed. That negotiate that negotiations were weren't ongoing and that he wasn't planned for the show as of then and that fans shouldn't buy tickets with the expectation of seeing him specifically triple h was expecting to field questions about cm punk that never got asked and was planning on responding accordingly when we asked wwe higher ups and this past monday if cm punk to wwe as of right now was still affirmed no they responded confirming as much on september 16th punk said that he's got free time for the next two months we'll continue to ask about the, his status as that date nears so what i took from that is basically that they're they're interested they're interested and they're it's not totally off the table uh there's no ill will apparently and they they've seen some they've gave out some fillers so i guess that goes back to if those references to cm punks were shots or were they like, were they trolling CM Punk or were they trying to say, like, hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, we would love to have you back, big bro. Like, what's up, big head? Um, let's, 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 let's get back on these. Like, yeah, you want some get back? Hey, we got you, man. Here, How about this little mid card? Or we could get you a main event that you've always wanted. I don't know. But I think CM Punk definitely, like, I, I, I've always had the mindset the same of, like, I heard Jim Cornette say it, and I agree. That if, I, if, if it's always felt like that if CM Punk wants to go back to WWE, he will go back to WWE. And I like, I again, I've always said the best case scenario was that he never left WWE. Uh, uh, of course, not knowing what was going on, the fact that he almost died there 10 years ago. But the fact, like, it, it sounds too perfect. Like, it sounds too perfect. Almost 10 years to the day that he left. Um, this was like, you know, it's, I can't believe it's already been 10 years. <laughs> That's amazing to me that it's been 10 years. 
He comes back to Chicago, competes in a Royal Rumble, maybe even wins it, beats Seth, or faces Seth Rollins in the WrestleMania main event. Whether he wins or not, I don't know, but I, I think he deserves one final run, and I think they owe that to him. And I think he... I think he wants to prove to himself, like, I think he wants to go out not like how he went out with AEW, man. I, I just don't think that's a way to end a career. And I think he still has the itch. Um, I think he's paying attention to stuff. He never said no when that interview he did on his birthday. He didn't say no. He gave a very similar response to, like, they asked him where he would be on, like, on a, remember when he debuted, I believe what August twenty second, twenty twenty one. They asked him what he would be doing. Like, is he returning to a? Like, is he debuting for AEW on that day? And he didn't say no. He just said he had something else to do. And now that they're asking him, is he returning to WWE on a certain date? They're not saying no. He didn't say no. He didn't say no. He just said he has something to do, as in take care of Larry. Apparently. Like, Again, I heard I've heard conflicting stuff that dogs don't have ACLs, but he said Larry blew out his ACL. So prayers for Larry. I don't think he would lie on Larry's uh, legs like that. Uh, and then the whole thing of we don't want people to buy tickets expecting CM Punk. One, all these references to CM Punk, it's too late for that. People are expecting CM Punk. And two, tickets are selling no matter what. Don't get me wrong. I I would imagine that. There is a, a a minority of people who bought tickets expecting to see CM Punk. Me personally, I will be at Survivor Series because I want to even like I, I, I'm i going to see CM Punk's debut. That is the reason I'm going. But I won't be disappointed if he doesn't come because I know I'll at least get to see Cody Rhodes. I think I'm going to see War Games. I, I, I get to see my guys, Cody Rhodes. I know I'm going to see Drew McIntyre. I know Roman Reigns won't be there, but. That's okay. Uh, I'm not tripping. I get to see L.A. Knight. I've seen him a few times live, and it's a it's an experience with him in a crowd. Like, yeah. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Um, it's 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 a lot going on. We got 23 days left, bro. 23 days left. Again, I'm trying to hit 1,800 subs before the end of the week. Need about 14 more people to do so. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. Wish me a happy birthday in the comments, man. I don't know if we go talk. On Sunday. My birthday is November 5th. So, you know what I'm saying? Say what's up, man. I don't know, man. Positive vibe. Positive vibe. Have a beautiful day. Make somebody smile today. Sub to act. Peace.